Hey, what's going on? Anybody out there? You have it. Happy holidays, everybody. We hope your holidays are going great. December 29th. Yeah. So good to see you all. How you doing, sir? How was your Christmas, Dominic? Thank you. 
Thank you, Gustavo. <laughs> I just needed a little break and eat some spinach. And Dominic, we're going to do that thing right after the first of the year. I promise. Record of it. There'll never be another you, right? I love you, man. You know, the best things in life are free. Must not forget that the best things in life are free and a welcome on this holiday week. You thought I was going to wait till New Year's Eve and you were almost right, but you know, I couldn't wait. You're right. I couldn't wait because I'm so excited about what's going to happen in a couple of days and I wanted to be here to talk about it with you all, play a little bit of music and get that uh, fingers. You'll never believe it. It's cold weather. So guess what happens with your car? If it's got a battery that's over five years old, <laughs> so my hands feel like, like cement. <laughs> I just changed the battery on our car, and that's kind of crazy. But I said, I got to broadcast today because I wanted to be here to see you. Uh, we're excited about uh, New Year's Eve, and uh, I'll take you a little bit on the trip there just real quick. If you go to my website, it's pretty simple, b3monaco.com. Uh, all you have to do is buy a ticket. And remember the big broadcast that I did a few weeks ago? This will be very similar, but we've per perfected the technology to get you in. So you got to join the party. Tickets are starting to sell, and I'm hoping to see a big Hollywood, Partywood squares. And in between songs, you'll get a chance, if you're in the party, to toast and say hello. And look, if you really would like to help sponsor the band a little bit more, you could buy a ticket for the honorable, honorable sponsor. And with that one, you can multiply as many times as you want. As a matter of fact, you can multiply any of these as much as you like. But a ticket will get you in. And if you got a friend with you or whatever, it's fine. Just let them in. We're going to have a big party, okay? And uh, we also are looking for more sponsors. we got a day left. And we'll take all we can get. We already have some commitments. Dr. Kenny Davis, of course, is going to be our first. He's our first sponsor. And uh, we're also going to have uh, more sponsors. I already know it. Hey, got to pay for the new battery. <laughs> yeah. What are you going to do, man? You know, it's just life, right? Life does its thing. But we don't, we don't mind life. It's a beautiful thing. huh? So remember, the best things in life are free. Hey, 
let's see if we can get the guys in the in the picture here. Let's get that going. Hey, look, Okumba. My notch. We got my bocce players in there. They're having a good time. Let's even raise it up. There we go. Hey. <laughs> Ciao, Pietro. Come stai? Tutto bene? Wow. It's good to see you all. Thank you for joining. You know I love to play music. I just needed to play music. And I love an audience. Because why? Because I like to entertain. Yes. So whatever. We're just going to have fun, huh? I love this song. Hey, Rudy. Mr. Campbell. Hey, Jay. exercising every day. joining that group tonight I think you belong there having a good holiday.
explain. Look, Mama, no hands. Good to the last drop. Yeah. I'm gonna explain, Herb. I'll do it in a minute. I'm in a mellow mood. You know, minor blueses are minor blueses. And the next one I might play a minor blues in D minor called The Boss. But Herb asked me a question. He says, I hear, but I don't see. And I don't know why. And I told him it was magic. <laughs> you still believe me now, don't you, Herb? Are you still with me? Give me, a, give me something. I want to tell you what I got over here, how I do it. So the Jimmy Smith style... Hey, is that your heart? That's all I need. The heart is the best when you play from your heart. But you got to watch you don't get too emotional because when you do that, then you get too excited, right? You know what happens when you get too excited. I'm so excited because New Year's Eve is coming. Oh, yeah. I'm going to have a band to hear you just a watch of me. He's here. Okay, Herb, so what I do is I'm playing my bass primarily, unless I'm playing some ballads. I'm using my left hand primarily because I like to play like a real bass player. See, I always played bass with my left hand, Herb, because 53 years ago, yes, 53 years ago, a man knocked on the door and he was selling accordion lessons right here in Columbus, Ohio. It was called the Columbus Academy. <laughs> so I started 53 years ago playing oompa, 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 with my left hand, right? Because you play the one and you play the five and the five turns you back to the one. So I started playing left hand bass herb 53 years ago, okay? So when I heard my first Jimmy Smith record I can't remember which one it was if it was rather if it was this one <laughs> or this one I had to buy the second one because you know after I wore out all the grooves on the first one I had to buy a second one you know there was no YouTube <laughs> it was just scratch the record and go buy another one and so this are, these are both two, uh, two album sets. And I've listened to them so much that the second one is scratched pretty bad, too. But that's how I learned most of my licks. And if you know the Jimmy Smith style of organ playing, it's, it's done with your left hand primarily. Uh, except the foot pedals are used. So, Herb, I don't know. Are you listening with headphones or are you just listening through 
your computer speaker? That's the first question I have for you because that's important. Uh, the low tones of the organ bass down there, if you put your headphones on, you can feel them more, almost more than you can hear them, okay? So maybe if you don't have headphones now, go back and listen to this broadcast, Herb, and put your headphones on because you, uh, you have to hear the low tones to understand what I'm doing. And the reason why it looks like magic is because the standard style of Jimmy Smith left-hand playing is, yeah, right? You can hear that down there, right? Domenica. E buona. <laughs> One of these days, we're going to get together and have some good food together, Dominic. I can't wait. We're relatives. Dominic J. Monaco. Gotta be. Somebody snuck in somewhere, right, Dominic? <laughs> so, oh, you got your iPhone. Well, you know. Do you have earphones on your iPhone, Herb? Okay, but I want you to do me a favor. Later, if you don't, find some let me explain now so what you do is i like to play my bass notes up here ah, maron. You, can, you can hear those on your iphone can't you can you hear this tell me which one you hear better or this airpods are great too so what happens is, if you don't have your iPhone, I mean, if you don't have earbuds, you won't be able to hear it. But when you hear an organ player live, you can, of course, because the bass speaker's rattling down there. So what I'm doing with my bass pedals is a lot of times, I'm just barely touching the note. Like, like if I'm playing like a funky tune, like what I was just doing, most of my bass without the pedals is doing. And notice I keep it up in this upper register because I want those tones to pop out and hit you. So when they're up in this upper register, even with your iPhone, you can hear them because they're higher pitched, so they travel faster and they get to your ear. But when you play the bass pedal, see, it kind of gets underneath it. So what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to hit on ones. So I'm trying to get that tone to reinforce. And when I'm not, I might be, you know, tap, tap, tap. So when you, you'll hear it. See? I'm going to hit the main notes that I want to hear down here because if I get my hand down here, uh, the problem is, is because of the fold back and all that stuff with the organ, it just sounds a little bit drony. See, not much character to it. You see, it's kind of low, but it's kind of not. That's low, okay? I can give you some more on the funky tune. I gotta get Lonnie here to put that little resistor in there. So I'm trying to pop the bass lines even on swing or bossa nova. I'm trying to do all of those um, low notes, but I want you to get real good headphones so not only can you hear it, I want you to feel it, see? That's the, that's the effect. Those low notes are there uh, for the feel of that low. And so I'm combining my left hand and my foot as I guess you would call it like bass, double bass, maybe, you know, because I'm doubling some of the lines that I'm playing with my feet to get the tones that I want that are low. But I always try to turn the pedals volume so that it doesn't overtake the left hand because I don't want all that power to overtake. So that's got to be a combination. Like if I'm going to run a line like... I'm going to say Ooh, now you can feel it. But notice I just went I only need that much of the low tone for it to make you feel it. And because if I go too long on the sustain, then what happens um 
you won't be able to actually feel that. So you don't want too much. But if I want more low, then I'll make these a little more legato. I played them both unison, but this an octave higher. So what I found to get more bass is not more power, not a bigger speaker, not more amplification, but two things, okay, two things are vitally important. One is by spreading the sound that way, you see, I get a wider bass. So when the low tone and the octave higher or the two octave higher's play, you get wider bass, you see? So listen, it's not really necessarily louder. It's just wider, listen. See? It's got another dimension to it. So I'm adding the dimension of the low notes on top of the high notes with my left hand. And you know, the agility of five fingers uh, compared to one old clunky foot, you know, the way, the way I learned how to play. It's better for me to play, you know, bah, bah, bah. I could do that with my left hand and just hit the root. So I'll say, you see, so I got the dexterity of the right hand and I can get those clean lines that I want with my left hand. Let the bass roots be covered by the pedal. So I'm hitting more of the roots and some of the uh, tones, like if I want to do a run, you know, um, and then now the second way that you can get more bass out of playing on the organ is I know this is going to sound a little bit weird but at the very beginning this is the way to do it take your foot off the expression pedal because what happens a lot of people when they get nervous especially um, see how my fingers are pointing this way because I get nervous too uh, when you get nervous you have a tendency to want to do something right a lot of people have a tendency to go like this with their expression pedal with the tempo woo, 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 woo. the problem is when you listen to this bass i'm going to pull the pedal back a little bit you guys you guys want an expression everybody always asks me what does he do with the expression pedal so here there it is can you see it enough <laughs> i hope so i'm going to hold it with my hand right so what i'm trying to do when i play the bass it's hard to hold it with the bass hand, isn't it? Let me try to hold it with the right hand. Hey, maybe I can stick it this way so you can see it. Let's see. Let's try something. Whoa, there we go. You can see it a little bit. There, see that? Okay. Hey. I love my yob. <laughs> Ooh, the pedals look weird. Okay, so watch what happens when I pull this pedal back. Ooh, it starts to drop dramatically, look. But from there on up, it just gets a little bit bigger, but here it drops all the way out. So every time you go like this, you're gonna get that. That is not a desirable effect. And the biggest problem, hey man, you're welcome. You're my friend, you live right down the street, Cincinnati, right Herb? One of these days, we're going to have dinner, too. That's going to be great. So uh, I'm going to have dinner with all of you. We're just going to meet in one place, maybe at Rudy's house. What, what city do you live in, Rudy? <laughs> we'll come over there, Rudolph. <laughs> all right. So what I'm trying to do when I play my bass pedal is I'm not trying to come past that threshold because the moment I do, my bass is going to fall. So I try to keep it at this level. And if I want to do anything, push it. You see, you push it, you push it, you push it. See? So I never come back. Push it. Push it. See all that bass? And this is just my left hand. I'm just tapping. And sometimes you see me move my left foot 
because I'm tapping the actual note because I want you to hear just a little bit of that 16. So when you get those big headphones on, you'll hear that. So you'll feel it. Uh See, my pedal doesn't move. <laughs> okay. See, my foot isn't moving. I could pull it down just a little bit, just for the volume. You see? So what I'm trying to do with my uh, expression pedal is just hold a consistent level. And some songs are louder, some songs are softer. So once you find, think of it like the pedal on your car when you're on the freeway, the gas pedal. So in other words, you adjust your car speed to the speed that you're going to travel, hopefully not above the speed limit, but at the speed limit. Okay, and the only time you really need to do anything is either uh, if you have to let up a little bit so you slow down. Of course, we have to slam on brakes, things like that. That's different. But I'm just talking about your general, your moving, right? Uh, or you might want to speed up a little bit, right? Or if you want to pass somebody, you might step on it a little bit, turn your signal, go around. When you come back, you're going to go back to that level. That's how you use an expression pedal. You find the level of the song. And then from there, you adjust. So if you do too much of this, you get. Especially if you're on this side of the curve. See where my foot is? It's almost up. So it's got more. And that's undesirable. OK, you don't want that. The desirable effect is consistency. Now look at that. I'll just take my foot off. You know when you fly a plane, you don't even have to do anything if it's trimmed. You just let, let it fly. It's built to fly unless you want to make an adjustment. So think of it that way. If you're a pilot, it's like having your trim set. So you're not climbing, you're, you're not falling, you're not turning. You're just going in the direction you want. Trim. So think of the volume pedal if you're a pilot kind of mind person as trim you know once you get it adjusted to the right desirable effect then that's when you make adjustments right so okay i hope that helped herb next time you try the organ try that just take your foot off the pedal and see if you get more bass hey darlene happy holidays to you so that was my lesson and uh, let me do a song but before i do i want you all to check my website out b3monaco.com because on New Year's Eve, we got a special party. And you can actually be in the party. So if you buy a ticket for $14.98, yeah, then all you can do is be in the party. And we're going to have a Zoom party where all of my friends and fans will be together. You can chat with each other. Hopefully, you'll dress up if you have a partner with you or friends with you. And in between songs, I'll bring the whole meeting right on the screen because I found a video capture card that lets me bring the Zoom meeting in to this camera. And you'll all be toasting with me in between songs. And at 8 p.m., this will be from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern time. Okay. And at 8 p.m., we're going to do a virtual countdown. Uh, and so, but if you'd like to sponsor us, you can even do that, help and sponsor. And all of the money here goes to the, to the band because all of us are unemployed. So we are going to share the money. So if you buy a ticket, you're buying it for the band. If you decide you want to be a sponsor, an honorable, honorable sponsor, you could buy it for $25 or you can multiply it. So let's say you want to give the band a hundred bucks go ahead just multiply that times four and there you go there's a hundred dollars see um, if you want a ticket and sponsor fine and each time you buy this ticket you'll get a link 
and it and it'll be a link to take you into the show and there'll be someone there to greet you i'll be announcing who that is soon and that person will uh uh, kind of get you in and get you involved so please it'll be a virtual new year's eve party i'm hoping that some of my friends and fans are dancing while i look over at the at the uh at the party <laughs> so uh your support is kindly uh appreciated uh it will be free just like it is right now uh, it'll be broadcast right in all the networks you see me right now uh pan uh twitter um, Periscope, that's the same. Uh, two Facebook pages, my professional and my personal, and um, also my YouTube. Unfortunately, I, don't, I can't keep a Instagram on my iPhone for two hours without the battery dying. So we won't be doing an Instagram behind the scenes. Uh, it'll just be the main uh, uh, broadcast. Um, and because my main phone, I might be using it for collecting messages between the host, which will be announced soon. Hey, Javier. How are you, man? It's good to see you. Celebrations to you, too. So, anyhow, uh, another thing I wanted to tell you all about that's kind of cool. Oh, I did a lot of work this last few days on my school. So, if you go to my website, b3monaco.com, uh, you'll notice that I have... A link that takes you to a, a school. I, I've always wanted to have a school for him in Oregon. And, uh, you know, this is not, uh, you won't get a degree, but you'll learn how to play. And I think that's why most people play an instrument, is to learn how to play. So if you go to my main page, web uh, B3 Monaco, and you get below our uh, New Year's Eve celebration in information, you could join my school. And what's cool about the school, I did a lot of work here uh, this last few days. Evidently, I had some of my vi my videos in private mode, so now I've got them all. All my hand separation classes, all my guest artist series that come on my Tony Monaco students and friends, all my tunes groups, all the blues groups. We're talking lots, 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 lots. There's over 200 hours of video here. Uh, let's see if we go back here, show more. Uh, I'll show you what's all in it. Uh, the song group, there's another group. So these are all songs where we strip them down and some of my students play through. So it's a real education. The jam group, all of those meetings are in there. Uh, and then, of course, there's a category for all of the new additions so you can catch up. And I just uh, I just private, unprivatized uh, quite a few videos, probably about... Uh, about 30 or 40 hours worth of classes so check this out if you want to look at them all i like to see this i can't believe that other than the 12 artist series classes that i have over 200 hours of instructional stuff just on and 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 on so only for 1498 a month it's the same price as a new year's eve ticket okay and uh you can have access to all these videos and if you join my students and friends group right here okay i'm gonna pull it up here boy i'm just full of surprises today aren't i orange orange so write that address down okay because this is important i'm going to go to my students and friends group it's a private group so you have to ask to join but it's free, okay? I uploaded all of the support files so that you can actually go to my student and friends page once you become a group member. And you'll notice that I have 853 members. It's a small group because I, it's personal friends and students. So when you come in here, you come in to see, you know, a group of people that just like me are out to help you so you can ask a lot of people ask questions or they'll post things there's my ad for the celebration in new year's eve but i just uploaded all of my educational files that go along with the videos of the school check it out here let me uh start scrolling see look these are all the files all the files 
and then it gets down into some of the files that Linda downloaded uh, some really cool songs but look you got all of my files there that correspond to my videos so it's a complete education for just about fifteen dollars a month and there's just hours and hours of information and I'm always uploading new stuff because I'm always having classes for example tonight at 730 I'm holding a class okay it's the song group, the Tuesday song group, okay? You buy a ticket at 7.30, similar to this, you'll receive a link, and you'll come in with a lot of the performers that you saw playing uh, on uh, the fundraiser that we all did called uh, Tony Monaco Students and Friends Fight Hunger Together. So uh, we hope you can join some of these things, hopefully support our band uh, on New Year's Eve, that would be really great because, uh, you know, geez, it's just a mess for us, and you all know that. And um, so I've got things to offer that uh, are not very expensive and very valuable. And so come on, just uh, do it. And I need to see more of these things down there on the bottom. <laughs> Buy some tickets, folks. <laughs> okay, what am I going to play next? I don't know. What kind of mood am I in? Ooh, how about something fast? I'm in the mood. All right, I don't want to go too fast, though. I want to play something groovy. Yeah, I haven't played this in a while. Hey, Mikey, what's going on, brother? Hey, Ellie, nice to see you. Are you coming to the New Year's Eve party, Jean? You and Roulet, I hope to see you. You can have a lot of champagne, you know. <laughs> we'll have virtual champagne. <laughs> hey, thank you. Somebody just bought a ticket. this <laughs> whoa I'm gonna watch my hands now I know what to do I just watch the keyboard Jersey's here. Hey, Jersey. Wash your hands. That was my producer. Get the camera on the pedals. Oh. 
See if it stays. There it goes. Synthesizer. I don't. I'm not on this soon. I could do roads. That's actually a Roland. first three draw bars. I like uh, slow decay on the third because it leaves the, the percussion in a little longer. They make the waterfall key so you can slide. And a lot of people slide with the palm of their hand, see? Like that. But I can do the same effect with just my fingers curled. See? You can do it that way, especially. Use your thumb. So when you do those big band sounds, you know, you can get that kind of stuff. You want to hear some real synth, don't you? Analog. 
He says, can you do anything else with it? Yeah, I could do all kinds of things. How about this? Whoa, what's that? Not the wrong. What? Oh. Maybe this is going... What? That's weird. I'm sorry, folks. I shouldn't be doing that. Well, I guess we have to check out the systems tomorrow. <laughs> shouldn't be doing that, right? But it is. Let's see. Why? Maybe it's too loud? How about that? <laughs> I wanted to do that with the synth. Let's see. I'll get it. Let's get some more. <laughs> yeah. Let's get some synth for you. And we'll take this uh, funky thing. I'm going to turn this off. Ah, that's weird. It's been working so great. All of a sudden, there's some problem. So maybe i got to check the amp. You know, there's cats in here. <laughs> Thank you for joining me tonight. We'll see you soon. Tomorrow, I probably don't have enough space to broadcast due to the fact I'll be getting ready for our New Year's Eve party. I must say, please go to b3monaco.com. Go to my homepage. Check out what we're doing on New Year's Eve. Uh, you could be part of it. And to be part of it, you help the band. And the band that's going to play is uh, Reggie Jackson. You've seen him uh, on my jam with Tony programs. You also saw him live with me on uh, the uh, Live at Woodlands. And Joshua Hill will be performing from 6 to 8. The actual party opens at 5.30 Eastern. And uh, you'll all be toasting and partying and having fun and hopefully dancing. And to be in the party, buy a ticket. And you'll be able to actually get to toast the world with me on the screen. So it's going to be very cool. A new way to celebrate New Year's Eve in a safe way. Uh, I have been following uh, as much as possible the guidelines to try to not spread COVID. So I have not performed a gig. I only did three of them at Woodlands in a time when we had social distancing things organized. But then when the uh, virus started to really take off. Uh, it was difficult uh, to want to do that. So let's play something funky. Is that Brian Blade? I like this one. That this is. Yeah.
Yeah. We'll see you tomorrow. Uh, two days, actually. Don't forget to get your tickets. God bless you all. Thank you very much. You don't want to miss it. You want to be sure to come. You want to be sure to wash your hands, Matthew. Uh, See you, Rudy. Bye, Darlene. Jack.